What's going on, champions? Larry635135 coming to you live. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit longer of a video than we typically do on the channel because I didn't get to go through the hard mode on my own. So we're going to do hard and hell mode together on screen. We're going to be doing it with Akira Tozawa. Hopefully, I said that name at least close to being accurate. We don't have many Akira Tozawas where I'm from. For our first move set today, we are going to be trying a couple different ones, but for our first one, we're going to be doing blue, black, blue. The idea here is to put out those 3x3 three three area of strength gems. With our trainers, they're going to be doing times 4 damage, and then run the other two moves accordingly. Speaking of trainers, those I'll be using will be Matt Hardy, like I said, to increase the strength by 2 and Jerry the King Lawler to boost our blue MP since we are running two blue moves that'll do so by four. We also have Naomi uh, just in case we get hit uh, fairly big on one of these. I don't know what this tour is going to consist of, so let's jump into our first match against Daniel Bryan. As always, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to drop an elbow on that like button. And to subscribe to the channel, almost at a thousand. Thank you all so much for staying tuned and subbing to the channel at this early, early point. Become part of the LG Legends. We do get a blue match on turn one, but that is only good enough to charge up one of our blue moves. He hits us with a 27 gem cascade, easily pinning us for 11,000 damage. Now, we shouldn't have an issue getting out of that, which we don't. We do have a blue match, so we might as well go ahead and run this running kick senton. And we're going to be able to hit a few of those by way of cascade, and that should end the match. At three star gold, facing opponents that are uh, lesser than him, no issues at all, really. Uh, but when you start facing opponents that are equal to or higher talent level than him, that's when you start running into an issue, and I believe you'll see that later on in this gameplay. Because that, uh, I think this character could have been way stronger had they allowed that 3x3 three three area of strength gems to be choose gems and left the finisher the way it was just destroying four randoms. I think that would have probably made this superstar a lot better. In our second match, we're going up against Mr. IRS himself. We'll take a black match on turn one because we do have a black move that needs to be charged up. We do have black and blue on turn two. Didn't know I could rhyme, did you? Okay, that's enough of that. Now, where are we in the gameplay? Okay, we're going to hit the running kick senton. Overall, an interesting move. Nothing quite like it in the gameplay before they introduced Akira. And now I think we're going to be finishing things off with that snap. Or that deadlift. German suplex, rather. And it will. So two opponents down, no real uh, heartache in trying to take either of those two. Moving right along after we collect our uh, Stephanie tokens. The quote unquote boss in this uh, chapter tour is Mankind. Although the hardest nodule by far is going to be that um, Godfather uh, tag team that's down in the second nodule. So you see here, hopefully we'll make light work of mankind. We do have a black match. No black, no blue, so we will take green. Unfortunately, that created a blue match for him, so he's going to have a move ready on the next turn. Uh, 
we're going to save our so that we can use it in unison with our black move. Build himself up a little bit. Now let's go ahead and make this three by three area of multiply gems times four. And we will hit him with the deadlift German suplex to destroy a two by three area of those. Again, apologies if you can hear the dog in the background. I guess that's his way of telling me that he is disgruntled and wants some water. Okay, I think he should be taken care of. Now we are going to hit our snap bridging German suplex. Just destroy that one, but hopefully that will be enough damage since he is a showboat. And it will. So we are on to the, what I think is gonna be the hardest nodule the hardest node, the hardest match, whatever you want to call it, is going to be the Godfather because they've probably given him the Rainmaker belt as well as equipped him with the Chairman as Trainer. Now, I'm not a betting man. Maybe they haven't done that in the hard mode. Maybe they'll do that in the hell mode. If that's the case, we may not even battle then. Because there's no way, as quickly as he charges up, there would be no way uh, that I could take him on that three-star gold. We do not have a blue or black match. So we're going to hit with the Godfather Shoulder Breaker. And he's more than likely going to... Oh, no, he did take the yellow on the right-hand side, so we will have a blue match. Unfortunately, he's going to create some multiply gems, which means we're probably going to make those. And because he only puts them on loot gems or loot crates, uh, that means when we make our match, we are probably going to destroy, I mean, when we do our move, we're probably going to destroy some of those. Uh, however, it might be enough considering he is a showboat and it doesn't look like he has the advantage of the um, Rainmaker belt or a trainer, such as Vince. So yes, you see there we did destroy one of them. He is not to where he can tag in his opponent yet. And so we're actually able to end the match there. All right. Awesome, well, that means we have mastered the hard mode and we will jump into the hell mode here shortly. Here we go with Hell Mode. Daniel Bryan, remember I said we were gonna be using a, another move set? Well, Akira has some great uh, steel moves, MP steel. So if you ever wanna see what move set your opponent's running, just click on the props, it'll show you. We are going to manage Akira, not replace him. And we're going to replace one of his moves, we're gonna be using the bicycle kick in place of that deadlift German suplex. Now this is a five MP green move that's gonna allow us to steal up to three MP of blue from each move. So a total of six per time that we use that move. It means Daniel Bryan is likely not going to get off his two blue moves. And it means on the other hand that we're gonna be getting our blue moves off fairly quickly. We want to go ahead and take that blue match, and it does give us green as well, so we'll be ready to go on turn two. See here, we will be running the running kick centon, putting out those multiply gems. And now because we have that bicycle kick equipped, we're gonna be able to 
charge up both of our blue moves. And here we go with the snap bridging German suplex. So we just got 6 MP on the way to uh, 8 MP for one and 10 MP for the other. So not bad at all. Because one of those multiply gems landed on green, we have it ready on this turn as well. So we'll create that three by three area. It will be given to us at random. And then the bicycle kick, stealing more blue from him. And that should charge our finisher. It does. So we'll hit him with another snap bridging suplex. So up against a double blue opponent, this moveset works phenomenally. And he will be unable to kick out. Now, unfortunately, I don't think any of the rest of our opponents are going to be using a double blue or double green moveset. I think Akira also has the ability to steal green MP. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be the case with any of our other opponents. See, IRS is running purple, blue, green. So we're not going to be able to run this move set. I mean, we could, but we would only be stealing up to 3 MP. Wouldn't give us a whole lot of advantage there. So we'll just switch back to the original move set, the blue, black, blue move set. Heal them up and take off. I think after the IRS and Mankind battles, because the video is getting kind of long, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. I uh, checked while I went to go take the dogs, and he is, um, the Godfather is equipped. He's not, he doesn't have the Rainmaker, but he does have Vince equipped as a trainer, so we would not be able to defeat that match. We are going to stop at the Mankind fight. Able to get our blue move off. Unfortunately, it's placed in such a way that it's not going to uh, do us any good. Again, that's one of his weaknesses. And remember I said that when you're uh, playing with Akira Tozawa, anytime you get to a player that is close to his talent level, it becomes more difficult. Well, IRS here is our exact talent level. He is 7902, I think. So we do have that deadlift German suplex ready for us. We're gonna go right here, grab some blue, we'll also get a multiply gem times four. Although it was on red, it's not going to cause a pinfall, so we will have an extra move here. Take that line break, get us some blue. We get hit with one of those leaping, flying clotheslines known as the write-off to Mr. Shyster or Shryster or whatever the heck his name is. Uh, again, another line break to pick up some blue. We're not getting very many blue or black matches. It's generating blue, but he's also taking blue. So we'll go ahead and take that other blue. That way we can run the finisher on the next turn. Uh, at this point, I was aggravated, so I didn't just want to run the finisher and defeat him. I wanted him to feel it. I wanted him to hurt. And um, at least that's my excuse. I didn't forget. And the match is over. We did catch a little game lag right there. I don't know if you all saw that. Not sure what that was about. Again, with the game lag not showing the 
uh, reward the turnbuckles that are supposed to be rewarded there. Not exactly sure, may have to discuss that with Scopely. Now we are facing Mankind. Again, he's not using a blue-blue-yellow moveset. He is using the yellow-blue-black. So nothing we can do apart from just using our traditional moveset. Again, you will notice that he is at 9.6K, almost at 9.7. We're only at 7.9. So this is going to be a disadvantage, although we have a class advantage, if that makes any sense. As we get this match going, let's keep in mind that his blue move, I mean, I'm sorry, his black move uh, for Mankind generates blue gems. So maybe we can use that to our advantage here. We do get some of our uh, strength, or our multiplied gems of strength, plus a nice cascade. Unfortunately, because of the health of mankind, it's not going to do enough damage to take him out of the match. And now he returns with a cascade of his own. Going to hit us with a stunning back elbow there. We kick out easily. Uh, let's go ahead and run our finisher here. Uh, we'll, like I said, we'll run that finisher because he has that black move ready. Black move is going to generate blue gems on the board. If we can get more blue gems, that means there's the potential that we can get some of those to turn into multiply gems of strength times four. Then because we have our black move available, we would be able to destroy those as well. Let's see if we can get that lucky. So there are a few more blue on the board. He did destroy three. And we do get three of those. Uh, we'll only be able to destroy two at best. So we'll take those in the bottom right hand corner. That's going to do some nice damage. 50,000. He's going to be able to kick out of it, but we were able to charge up both of our blue moves because of that hit with a finisher it's just going to do the base damage because he does not have any uh, of the heal gems out the centon one more time and the finisher one more time and maybe that will do the trick unfortunately we did not get on any blue i did see that we got three black so i went ahead and took that i know that means that we're going to get hit with another move but uh, it also means we're going to have both a blue and a black move charged up. He's going to heal himself for a little... No, I guess not. I guess it didn't take. All right, we will run that finisher. Take those last two multiply gems off the board. 24,000 damage. Will not be enough. He was able to heal himself for 16 of that with those gems that he has placed out. But we do have the German suplex. Get two blue gems and a black gem out of this, plus a blue match down at the bottom. We are in danger, so we have to be careful. Let's go ahead and put out these multiply gems so we can keep that pin bar off of us. Do we have a match? Not out of those. Let's go ahead and use our Fuji special. That's just going to shuffle the gem board. Thankfully, it shuffles in our favor. And we will have a black move ready that should end the match here. And it does. So let's go ahead and pick up our event ingots. So as I said, I've decided not to do the uh, Godfather match. I'll go ahead and show you what it will look like anyway, because I do have to use a specific superstar. However, I'll complete that in my own time. Probably have to use some props, but we need those 30 shards. 
for Booker T. As always, thank you all so much for staying tuned to this point in the video. Appreciate your support uh, throughout this channel as it's growing, as it's flourishing. Appreciate all you LG legends that are staying tuned. You see here the matchup and how it would have lined up, what they would have been using. Until next time, we'll see you then.